Hey everyone, just wanted to show you what I've been working on. It is an inverse kinematics node for Godot. So basically, um, it's just one node and it has a whole lot of little things you can customize to meet your IK needs. The only thing it does not have is polling. I have not put polling into it. However, I have made it so that you can set constraints on any bone you wish. Um, you can also set the length of the IK. Um, let's turn on some of these constraints. Let's make it so that he can't go 45, 45, 45. There we go. So now see his little body is trying to make it to there. The other thing you can do, as you can see that he's jerking about a bit there, is you can turn down the speed that he actually moves at. So it makes him seem more natural in the way that he moves. Um, you can also turn it back up. I kind of like him moving around a bit. Let's put it to 20. And um, turn those limits back off so that we can just watch him chase after it. Um, but yeah. It's um, pretty straightforward in its use. Um, one of the only things that's probably not very straightforward is this one up the top here, the tip bone length. Um, that is entirely because the end part of your bones don't have another part to find its length, so you have to tell it manually what the length of your last bone would be. Um, then this is the loops. You can set however many loops you want it to do in the iterations before it's going backwards and well, of it going backwards and forwards. So before it decides to give up, if it can't reach its target, um, it kind of just gives you a more natural curve. If you use it, if you turn it up, um, the close enough basically just gets it to go, hey, I'm close enough now. I'm going to give up. I'm going to stop at this point. Um, the target node set that just so then you have whatever it's going to chase after you set the length which is going to be how many bones you're using that's pretty much the majority of it it's also got the skeleton modifier stuff such as you can turn it off being on not active turn it back on you can change the amount of influence it has on it um, and all of this is in GD script so you are able to go in and edit and change anything you want. So like this doesn't have polling. You could go add polling to it if you wanted to. Um, yeah, or you can just make minor adjustments to it that just suit your needs. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'd like to see any projects that you guys make with it. Oh, I will give you the heads up. It doesn't do good with changing of size of scale. So I gotta edit it a little bit more to get that working properly, but I'll give you an example. If I change the scale here, if I make it uh, a 1.5, suddenly the bones go a little bit funky. It still somewhat works, but it is not right. It is not how it should be. So yeah, there's that. Um, you can also, it's the same as with going down, boop, 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 make it 0 0.5. So yeah, now he's all sucked up into himself. Um, so I've got to edit that. I think it's to do with the bone lengths. Um, they they don't like being adjusted. Um, but anyway. If it's set at one scale, then that's fine. And that's to go with all of its parent nodes too. So like, it's so long as its end scale is set at one, it needs to be a one scale. It'll actually give you an error as well if you are doing that. It should be telling you like, hey man, bones aren't set to the right size. Here you go, see? Scale isn't set to vector one. So, oh, vector three, one, one, one. Anyway, that's basically it. I'll leave it out there for you guys to mess around with. All you need to do to make it work in your project is copy this OSIK folder and then you drop that straight into your project and that will give you the GD script, the icon file and also the constraints which is a resource that it uses. Um, oh and don't worry if you saw these and went oh my god I would totally delete those by accident all the time. You, you can't, it's okay. I've set it so there's a lock. You, you you can't delete them. Same as you can't rename this bone. It's not going to let you. You're, you're fine. It won't mess it up. Same as with this size here. 
you you can't you can't mess that up. It won't let you. It's fine. Um, the only way you can change the size is by actually changing the IK length. Um, that's that's it. And so anyway, I'll share this with you guys. I'd like to see what projects you make with it. That'd be really cool. So please share me a link. Um, and anyway, I will let you have fun with it. Bye.